All right, Big Ed here once again. It's my 1990 Harley Fat Boy. Been having some issues with it. It was running fine last week. But this week, during Bike Toberfest, it wanted to take a dump on me. I think the timing is out on it. I, I haven't figured it out yet. Between the timing and the damn uh, carburetor, I've done a factory setting on the carburetor. It'll crank up and idle. And uh, when I start going down the road, if I start to get on it a little bit, it'll break up and want to spit and pop. And I already put a uh, new intake manifold seals in there. And I tested and there's no leaks and uh, the carburetor has been rebuilt, it's SS carburetor. So I'm, I'm dumbfounded on what it is. I think next week I'm going to go ahead and take it to somebody that really knows what they're doing. You know, I put the new top end on it and the voltage regulator, stator and stuff like that. but. When it comes to fine tuning it, I think that's all it needs is to be fine tuned. I don't have the skills yet. I'm still working on it. I'm learning as I go. And I know some of y'all out there are probably saying that's not a gray ghost, but it is. It's 1990. Fat boy. Got the silver frame. These are supposed to be yellow. These rocker stripes. When I took the rocker boxes off, they are yellow, so it's supposed to have a CV carb on it. And but so much of the original stuff was missing when I got it. I don't think I'll try to go back to original. Yeah, you know, the wrong fender, wrong wheels. I put the ape hangers on. I'm guilty for that right there. Um, all the stripes, the pin stripes and everything around the ignition. It's supposed to be one right around that ignition right there. These are supposed to be decals. I'm not sure what bike this come off of. Maybe a FL? Hit me up if you know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I talk about bikes and art and haven't talked about music yet, but I will eventually be maybe do a video of me playing my guitar or something. I'm new to this YouTube stuff. There's some of my paintings right there that I've done. Evil Knievel and Elvis, a little bit of abstract down here that I'm working on. I might do my next video, finish that up on my next video. But I predicted my bike was going to take a dump last week on my video last week. And sure enough, she didn't let me down. It just doesn't want me to go to bike week ever. <laughs> I still have a, when she's running good, I, I have a blast riding it. It's, be, it's a lot better ride than my Sportster, but my Sportster was a lot more reliable. So far, this thing's been a headache. But what do you expect when you get a bike that's 30 years old that people didn't take care of? I had to put all the new oil, all the the head gasket and the base gasket, it's all blue. So I had to put a whole new top end because when I took the cylinders off, they one of the cylinders was scored up pretty good. So I, I still got them. I got them wrapped up and everything. I didn't know any shop in town. I live in Orange 
city, Florida. I didn't know any shops in town that uh, did honing. I think that's all they need to be is honed. Um, so I went ahead and got uh, cylinders from uh, J&P Cycles and uh, got new pistons and rings and so I did that and I went ahead and put a new stator on, new rotor, new voltage regulator, put all new oil hoses on it. I got new brake lines, new clutch cable, new uh, throttle cables. Cause I put the ape hangers on there so you have to change all that. And then today, or actually yesterday, I put that new uh, ignition uh, timing switch right there, or sensor. And I've been farting around with that, trying to time it. There's another thing back in, in the back there, behind the carburetor. They call it a, a vacuum operated electrical switch. I think that's what's called. There's a vacuum hose that goes right there, if you can see it, back to the back to the back and hooks onto that VOES switch or and that has something to do with time so I'm wondering if maybe that's my problem because the bike the bike was running great last week anybody got any tips let me know but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up taking it to the shop and try to get it taken care of once and for all because it's been whooping my butt well that's going to be it for right now don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like it I appreciate it I need, need to get some more people hooked up on here still learning how to do this but anyways peace out ride safe